When it comes to investing, there are many myths preventing people from building wealth. Unfortunately, those who don't overcome these misbeliefs will waste precious time that could be harnessed by regular people to generate fortunes that can't be brought back. In this video, we'll shine a spotlight on these myths, peel back the layers, and see what's really going on under the hood. So, sit back and listen carefully to these all too common investment myths because there's more to this story than meets the eye. My name is Chris and I help teach people about money, personal finance, and investing. If you want to become financially free and not have to worry about money, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you find it helpful. Investing is only for the wealthy. The widespread myth that investing is exclusive to the wealthy is a notion that often deters those in the beginning stages of their financial journey from harnessing the incredible potential of investing. In reality, investing has become easier and more accessible than ever before. With online brokerage platforms, the ability to make purchases without commissions or fees, and the concept of fractional investing, the barrier that once confined investing to the affluent has been shattered. Today, even those with modest incomes can start small and gradually build their portfolios over time. Those who believe investing is only reserved for the rich don't understand how the wealthy became so in the first place. More than likely, they got rich by investing their money wisely, whether it be in a business, real estate, stocks, or other form of investment. The popularity of retirement accounts, mutual funds, exchange-traded funds, electronic trading, and the elimination of fixed minimum commissions have collectively made investing easier than ever before. Today, the benefits that were once the privilege of the affluent are within the reach of just about everyone. Investing is gambling. Equating investing with gambling is a widespread misconception that overlooks the major differences that set the two apart. It's essential to recognize that investments and gambling are distinct practices with different principles and outcomes. Investments are made with a careful analysis of risk and reward. This process involves investing in something proven with a track record of success and fundamentals supporting future profits. On the contrary, gambling predominantly relies on chance and randomness. While gambling outcomes hinge on luck, Investments are driven by a combination of factors, including underlying asset values, market dynamics, and macroeconomic influences. By understanding these differences, individuals can make well-informed choices about how to allocate their money to ensure a high likelihood of success over a long period of time, not just a one-off event. You're too young to start investing. The myth that one is too young to invest is a misconception that can hinder the financial well-being of young adults. In reality, starting to invest at a young age can be immensely advantageous. When it comes to the stock market, the most critical factor is time. The younger you are, the more time you have. The longer you invest, the more you benefit. The power of compounding works in favor of those who begin early, allowing even modest contributions to grow significantly over time. By starting early, young investors can weather market fluctuations, learn valuable lessons, and accumulate wealth gradually. Furthermore, early investment introduces financial concepts, cultivates discipline, and fosters a long-term perspective. Dismissing the notion that one is too young to invest opens the door to a lifetime of financial stability and growth. It doesn't necessarily have to be investing in the stock market, either. This could include investing in your personal development, education, career, or your home. You're too old to invest. Every investor wishes they had started sooner. Almost everyone would agree with this, regardless of when they began. The myth that one is too old to invest is a misconception that overlooks the timeless potential of financial growth. While time is the investor's best friend, you can still benefit from investing at any age. Your strategy will be different than a younger person's, but you can still reap some benefits before and during retirement. Age should not serve as a deterrent to investing. In fact, it offers unique advantages. Older individuals often have life experience, financial wisdom, and a long-term mindset compared to their younger counterparts. Investing during retirement years can help preserve and even grow one's wealth, ensuring a comfortable retirement and leaving a legacy for future generations. As the saying goes, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. You need to be an expert. Busting the myth that you need to be a financial expert to dive into investing is all about leveling the playing field. Having a deep understanding of the stock market and other types of investments can be a plus, but it's definitely not a must-have. 
Nowadays, anyone can get started and build a profitable portfolio, even if you're a total newbie. You really only need to have a few pieces of knowledge in order to begin investing and successfully generating life-changing returns. Firstly, knowing where and how to open an account is necessary. Next, knowing what to invest in and what to expect going forward in terms of profits, risk, and the possibility of losing money. Beginners are often intimidated by the subject of investing, and it can be overwhelming at first. However, most people who have built multi-million dollar portfolios are not experts. They just found what works and stuck with it. You should be debt-free before investing. The misconception that one must be completely debt-free before beginning to invest is a myth holding countless people back from compounding their wealth. While reducing high-interest consumer debt is generally a wise choice before beginning to risk money with investments, not all debt is created equal. Low-interest debt, such as a mortgage or student loans, can coexist with investing, especially if the potential returns from investments exceed the interest rates on the debt. Think of how long it might take for the average person to be completely debt-free. Paying off all student loans, car loans, and a mortgage could take most of one's lifetime, and that's if it ever happens. By the point everything is paid in full, they're left with little time for their money to begin snowballing. Focusing solely on debt repayment could mean missing out on the opportunity to capitalize on the power of compound growth through investments. It's essential to evaluate the type of debt, the interest rates, and the potential investment returns to strike a harmonious balance. It takes too long to realize the benefits of investing. The myth that investing requires an eternity to reap its benefits couldn't be further from the truth. While the idea of waiting for decades to see any substantial returns might be discouraging, it's essential to debunk this myth and embrace the power of compounding. Even over shorter periods of time, the magic of compounding, where your earnings generate more earnings, can kick in and start making a noticeable impact on your investments. Sure, time can magnify your gains, but that doesn't mean you won't experience the thrill of seeing your investments grow in a relatively short span. It's like planting a seed. While it takes time for a tree to mature, you start seeing sprouts and growth along the way. As you begin to see your savings stack up, dividends being deposited and your contributions and previous investment gains working in unison, the feeling will be empowering. You now have flexibility with your finances that you otherwise wouldn't. In investing, a little patience and an understanding of the compounding effect can lead to pleasantly surprising outcomes sooner than you might expect. Don't be consumed by the myth that investing won't benefit you until 50 years down the road. Myths are like villains in a fairy tale. They sound scary until you pull back the curtain and realize they're just smoke and mirrors. Investing isn't a secret society reserved for the elite or a game of chance played in the shadows. It's a journey of growth, learning, and yes, maybe even a few bumps along the way. So next time someone tries to serve you a plate of investment myths, be armed with the truth that investing is for everyone, not just the lucky few.